Dean can fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Sing, my ravens. If you have a friend, one that's truly trusted, and want good to grow up your Out. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. Hush now. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Hold here. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are chipper, brother. Hey, we were speaking. You are chipper, brother. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just <clears throat> once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a king once, that one. You'd never know by the way he sulks. <laughs> I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst. Shall we lock horns? Sink it faster than me, you are the winner. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. The hort it is. Ha! Ah, we drink. What do I have? No trust a I've been kissing a flagstone soon. We should go. Look at him.
Father. Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of Chil, what happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This, this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strangle. lie! I have led numberless men into battle and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. My son, please. Sigurd, wait. I have spoken my words, and he has spoken his. And from this class came bitterness. What more need be said? I wish you well, Sigurd, in spite of all that has happened. I hope you find what you seek, and that it brings you peace. It will. Our destiny awaits. Do not linger long. I know you love him, Eivor. I know you trust him. But do not follow him blindly into darkness or despair. This sad business is finished. 
and good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. Hmm? I do not think... Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. You suffered so much pain at the hands of Fulke. It may be your visions are only dreams or hallucinations. No, no. My visions began long before Fulke. Before England, even. And it was Basim who told me to heed them. They are real, Eivor. And this is no mere fox hunt. Where I take you now, few men have ever seen. You should know... You are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal. Of what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Get out of here! Run up, sister! The daughters of Aegir bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar of the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat holes. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end.
A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Kingdom of Snow! Sigurd! Can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice on skin! Revel in this, Eivor! We walk the footpath of the gods! To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow! To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship! Where we have mead and food to warm us! No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellet for ice! You need not fear the cold, Eivor! Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! Went from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. Fingers. I hope so. There, that frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you feel it? <laughs> My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. 
Have you seen this before? In the space above. The Sarkis stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvondi quorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, unsum hugas reis derae chasaunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come, gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Hoerasi! Sigurdai. I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel. Was it crafted by dwarfs? It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree. The tree of life! What is this? See how proudly she sits. How beautiful she gleams. Here all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. mother? How did she come to be here? Eivor? Eivor! Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. 
You speak for yourself, Eivor. For I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Hill you give us, the guest is come. What is this place? There you are! Hail Dranger! Welcome! The harbor returns to lead us to victory! We are proud to serve you, Javi. Wet my lips with another horn of mead, brother. Drink for strength. Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so... beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle her blows! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. This place is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the 
eternal blood of Valhalla. At last, I share the din of infinite battle. True, true lovers. Your worm food. Brother! Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. What just happened? to glory, Javi. We are proud to serve you, Javi. Wet my lips with another horn of mead, brother. Drink for strength. Fight for glory. <coughs> Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow never comes. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again it will be... Father? Is that you? That cannot have been my father. Turns to lead us to victory. Skull! Skull! Take your horn, join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is. It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father. Varen, have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. 
Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let Seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Seen Varen. Oh. Who? Varen. Varen? Father? lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it! Do you not tire of his injuries? Never! Wait! Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> ah! uh! Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons! Huh. 
How is all this possible? How were the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No. That cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I would sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? ...to live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka... ...and came here. I wish you well, Swala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war, the same hollow victory, spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Why leave this place? 
A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle, to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet you question all. You question the very gods. Fight ah. me. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. <laughs> nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. <laughs> Eivor, stand. 
Fight upon my command! Do not flee! Do not flee your destiny!
Take up your axe, wield like a true warrior. Take up your axe! Now, you are nothing. With me, wisdom, glory, power, what more do you need? Everything else. Good. Are you? Are you with me? Sigurd! Ah! The Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Avon! Be careful! Vasim? What is this? Come closer, Avon. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Vasim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him! Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead races. Ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Kill that background! You must suffer a thousand times what I suffer. What is it about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Basil. Forgiveness is... 
is impossible. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor. Into the wellspring of your memory. Speed your grievance. Show yourself. I do not wish to fight with you. Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. Yeah. Rise. The sun will not have suffered in vain. You smell nonsense like an alehouse drunk. to this. So be it. Is that what you wanted? I want you to suffer. You will not die in peace. You will never see your home or your people again. and shattered bones, and my conscience will be clear. Make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Sigurd, be careful! He's coming for you! <laughs> Oathbreaker, you'll die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. <laughs> I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? Not here. Not by your hand. I will leave you here to die. 
like a rotting fruit on a dying tree. You died once, you will again. Stop this thing! Douse its fire! Sigurd! Does he still live? He does. But in darkness.
How long had Bassin been planning this treachery? I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. That man's anger, his rage, it had a familiar sting that I, I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason, paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I cannot return to England with you. That is not my home. Not now. What are you saying? I know about you and Randvi. I love us tryst, in spite of me. I should challenge you for such a betrayal. But I'm... I'm not fit for such a fight. I... Uh, I understand. Is that all? Do you recall the day we stood before Edwin, searching for the Saka Stone? You struck Basim. You lashed out at me. You made a fool of us all. That is not a leader I wish to follow into death and glory. You were being secretive then. Foolish, I thought. And when I returned to the settlement, your pattern of disobedience continued. I made a judgment, and you openly defied me. I believed you were wrong then. I still do. This is not a decision I make lightly, Eivor. You are family. You were my drinker. But here, our paths must diverge. Brother, please stay. Your place is with us, in England. Our home is your home. My road forward has been a muddy one, slick with blood and tears. But we can reach its end together. Let us face new foes and greater glories, together. Since my captivity, I felt you were cold and distant. But here your words glow with heart fire and kindness. All right. All right. I will come. But only if I may counsel you from time to time to be better than you are. I expect nothing less. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. ...that I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since... ...I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of... ...Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother... ...I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages.
Vex, I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex.
I'm ready. It's a long way to Bean Town. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho en nakwat, unsme borturwan di kwarde, ul solas fras hunakudi de, unzum huraz bez dere haz zohumsi. I'm in. The elevator still works. Ah, uh, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Play, play that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling us when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. There you are. You're working overtime. 